Hey there Titans, in this video I'll show you how to run a custom merge using the Form Titan API. Um, the custom merge will enable you to send multiple different objects and multiple different forms in one request and to have all these templates merge to one template. So let me show you um, what we're doing. Okay, so let's start with the things you should set up first. So the first thing you gotta do is go to your My Account and enable API. And the second thing is to, on your templates, is to make sure, on your forms, to make sure that the uh, Salesforce button is configured. Once these are done, you're ready to go. Um, another thing to pay attention to, if you're going to mix a Word template and a PDF template, you got to have your Word output format, Word template output format set to PDF. All right, now we're ready to start. So let's take a look at our JSON, what we're um, expecting to receive. Okay, so the first thing in the JSON is the update object. This is a, just a way for us to let you know once the merge is done. So we can update any object you like in any field you like. So the value of this, in my instance, is merge is done. And Salesforce object API name is an account. I'm setting it statically. Um, it's hard coded to an ID. You can do it dynamic, dynamically, obviously. And the field API name is FT pass on the account object. The next uh, a value there is uh, requested by, which is just the way to let us know who was requested by, so we can push it in the form Titan logs for you. And then we're getting into the data. So we have the generate data, which is an array of an object, a JSON object. And what we have in that JSON object is just an ID, ID of a Salesforce record, and the form ID that you want to generate that template to. So this one is, for instance, an account, and we want to run the form ID 104-4331. And then you can mix whatever objects you want and whatever forms you want in one merge request, and we will have that PDF merge for you. And the email object is just where to send the merge link once the merge is done. So in my case, I'm sending it to my email subject, you can set the email subject and the email body, and we will add the, uh, the merge link to that email. All right, so let's take a look at the code a little bit. <clears throat> so I've set up here, obviously we need your API key and the URL, so the URL is your subdomain, and then SF custom merge. Salesforce custom merge. And let's take a look at the, the way I did it here. You can do it in many other ways. I just set up a class. So we have our main class is gen request, which contains the email op, the email class, update object class, and a list of gen data class. And then we have the requested by. So the gen data class contains the ID and the form ID, just like we've seen there. The update object request is Salesforce object API name field API name, the ID of the object, and the value that you want to set to, and the request email contains the two subject and body. And then we have just simple, we're initializing the objects and the object to update here again set statically, it's hard coded, you can obviously do it dynamically. And here I'm pulling some accounts, uh, pulling some contacts, and running through, looping through these accounts and setting the uh, gen data and adding it to my gen data list. Finally, we're creating the gen request object and we're setting up all the information we've set up before. And finally, we're doing the HTTP request and getting the result. Now, let's take a look at the log. I just ran it a few minutes ago and we have the gen data request and you're getting a result from Titan either state is true or state is false if everything was fine. So in our instance, the status is true, which means that we will get an email with the link. Let me take a look at it. Okay, here is the email that I got. And once you click it, it will prompt you to uh, download your PDF. So let's copy the link and we'll go to our Titan and I'll paste this here. Okay, my link has expired because I previously downloaded it. And here is my 
um, PDF. So I have some uh, just simple PDF and mixed with Word document as well. And this is how it's done.